Um, so as a children, or well, as a child, my parents would always have us play sports to make us more social and active as children um, because they were never the type to have us just sitting on the couch watching TV all day. We had to be doing something. And so we would try every sport out to see if we liked it. Um, around fourth grade, I decided I wanted to join softball because all of my friends were in softball. And I was not good at it at all. In fact, they put me as catcher because that was the only way they could control me in the game because I was that bad. And I was even bad at that, that my arm was too far out that it got hit by a baseball bat, by a batter. But it did stop me because I went back into the game because it didn't hurt. But, um, so, uh, I think that defines me because I'm very, like, I can be very outgoing, but I can also be shy. And I feel like if my parents didn't have me playing sports with people, then I probably wouldn't be as social as I am right now. Um, and <laughs> this is, um, I love reading. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Um, and I've always loved reading ever since kindergarten and I'd have to go home and have a certain amount of hours or books that I'd have to read. And in the summer, I would do the reading program and see how many books I can read within the summer and get prizes for it. And I didn't always finish the deadline of how many books to read because I have to be interested to actually go through with all of them. And I usually like to read like the Babysitter's Club, like those cartoon ones, or like Julia Gillian with the big St. Bernard, or Dork Diaries, which is basically another cartoon or diary would be kid so it's kind of like hard to like read other books other than those until I got older and then I decided to just start reading big girl books and those are more interesting than cartoons and then last but not least this is a scrub cap um, this is what I will be wearing when I help surgeons when I am a surge tech and I'm grabbing the instruments that they'll need for surgery or whatever might be the case. Um, this is going to be a part of my future and I'm very excited for that part of my future. Anyway, thank you for listening to my speech.